This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, I haven't caught a fish in a while, so I thought I'd come down here to a local spot with some worms, jig heads, bobbers, and see if I can get a fish. Anything, anything would be good. Let's see what happens. We're gonna start out with a float and a jig head and a piece of night crawler. I'm not sure how deep to fish. We'll start out at about three feet. Just getting my float set up here. Still pretty early in the season, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping to find something down here by the boat ramp. As the sun beats down, hopefully this boat ramp is warming up and attracting some fish. We'll see. I'm hoping for bluegill, sunfish, small bass, but I'll be happy with anything at all. Since my last fishing video where I was fishing in a creek, it's rained a few days. The water is pretty muddy. I can see down about, I don't know, six inches though. That's something. I just don't know if there'll be any fish. There's a bite. Something's nipping at it. Got him, fish. Nice. Got a bluegill here. Good color, good color. Let's stand over the water in case he jumps out of my hand. Take a look at the first fish of the day. Feisty one. Easy. I can still grab him. Oh, there he goes. Dang it. Well, you saw him. Six inch bluegill. Let's do it again. Like I said, I'm just fishing out here over the top of the boat ramp. As that sun beats down, it warms up the water right here. And I think that's going to attract some fish. At least I hope so. I might have to adjust my bobber a little bit. Let's try a little deeper and casting a little bit further out. There we go, we're about three and a half, four feet. I hear some shad or something way out that way. Where's my bobber? Fish. All right. Another nice bluegill. Just about the same as that last one. Step over the water in case he jumps out of my hands. A little bit frisky today. Yeah, that's a good one. Another six inch bluegill. I'm Ven, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Oh, that might have been what I heard over there. It was a bird. I don't know if you all could see it, but it popped out from underwater and flew away. Might have been chasing shad over there. There's a bite. Fish, got him. Nice, another bluegill. This one's pretty dark. Look at that. These fish are really cold too. Yeah, look at this one. That's a dark bluegill for around here. Still pretty good though, about six inches. Seems like raising that bobber up really helped. Now I'm fishing a little bit deeper I'm in the sweet zone, getting bites. 
There's a nibble. Take it. Got him. All right. Fighter. This is a fighter. Oh, nice. Another good looking bluegill here. Yeah, just like those last few. Good looking bluegill here, good color. Almost jumped out of my hands. My theory on the boat ramp warming up in the sun is proving somewhat valid at least. I'm getting some bites. There's a nibble. Got him. All right. A little bit smaller. We got a five incher here. Dark. Someone's coming back on their boat. Are they coming back to trailer up? All right, we'll go over here so this guy can do his boat thing. Let's try this side while he trailers his boat. My bobber is set too deep. It's sitting on its side there. That means I'm on the bottom. Damn, hopefully that doesn't scare all the fish away. There's a bite while I wasn't looking. <laughs> Another bluegill. There we go. Another five and a half, six inch bluegill. Hey guys, it's Ramir Malipena here in Chattanooga. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right. Let's go back over there to the boat ramp. Oh, we got the FedEx guy coming down. This is where they hang out for a while. Let's see if there's any more over here. There's a nibble. Take it. Got him. There we go. Good sized bluegill here. Yeah, nice. Another six incher. Just trying to jump away. I'm just going to toss them in. Sweet, another bluegill. So far, I've caught all these fish on the same piece of worm. You want to know how to catch 90 fish on one tub of worms? This is how by catching 10 fish on one worm. I don't know if it's 10 fish, I'm guessing. We'll see. Is that a bite? Oh man. Just as I was bragging about how many I could catch on one worm, that one stole my bait. There's a bite. Take it. Got him. All right. Another bluegill. It didn't take long after that boat was gone for them to come back to the area. Nice.
Got him. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. Good sized bluegill here. Wow, he choked it. Got a jig head on there. He got it way down in his mouth, but I can get it. Nice. There we go. Nice six inch bluegill here. Maybe seven. This is probably the biggest fish of the day. Good color too. Bronze, purple, green. Nice. All right, let's try to get one or two more, then it's time to go. I see a boat coming this way. They're probably gonna be putting it on the trailer soon. Hello, this is Thomas from Thomas Arm Fishing. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Wait. Got him. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Another six inch bluegill. Easy, dang it. Well, here he is, jumped out of my hands. Six inch bluegill, right back in the water. Take it. Got him. All right. All right, last fish and we're out of here. Ooh, that's a beauty. This might be the biggest fish all day. Yeah, good one. Seven inch bluegill. Look at that, gold and purple and green. Good looking fish. Let's see if we can get one more. Oh, was that a bite? I don't even know. Here we go. Last fish. Here we go. Let's get him in. Get out of here. I'm just about out of time. It's hard to leave when you're catching them. A little five incher here. All right, time to go. Just in case anyone's interested, I'm fishing a Mach 2. This is a Luz Mach 2 all purpose spinning rod with a 1000 size Sienna from Shimano, using a weighted float, a small jig head. I was able to get what? A dozen bluegills in about 40 minutes. That's how I like to spend my afternoons. I'm Elston Perez with Chunky Cats Fishing. And right now you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Woo! So yeah, not bad at all. I came over here to fish the boat ramp, hoping the water would be warmer over there. And I think my theory is correct. I caught a bunch of bluegill over there. I caught a couple over here on this side. All in all, I think I did pretty good for about two inches of Nightcrawler. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.